Grace, the 15 year old identified only by her middle name in court, is a sophomore at Birmingham Groves High School. It's where prosecutors say she violated her probation when she didn't complete her virtual homework. It landed her in juvenile detention since June. I just think that's ridiculous. A lot of students didn't do their homework and you don't see any other people going to jail. More calls to free Grace, the teenager who remains in juvenile detention for failing to do her online homework during the pandemic. She was on probation at the time. Her school, like others in the state, closed its doors to in-person learning in March due to COVID-19. These young people protesting outside overnight at the Oakland County Farmers Market, not far from where Grace is in custody at Oakland County Children's Village in Waterford. They say her incarceration only reinforces the school to prison pipeline. I think the fact that we are out here in the middle of the night, in the middle of a pandemic, I'm 17 years old, I'm a rising senior, I shouldn't have to be out here fighting for my life. We shouldn't have to call on white allies. Last week, a judge denied the teen's request for freedom, stating she's where she needs to be, and that it was Grace's mom who repeatedly called the caseworker for help, saying the teen refused to get out of bed and wouldn't do her work. Naya Dossi is a fellow Groves High School student who says students of color, a minority in the district, often face disproportionate penalties for minor offenses. When you're coming in and escalating a situation, it makes the student look very guilty, and that's what happens in a lot of situations with students of color, especially black students. Grace's attorneys noted that technically this virtual homework was not required because there was no academic punishment for failing to complete it. They are expecting a written response to their motion soon. They'll be back in court in September. And again, Grace, that 15 year old, remains in juvenile detention this morning. This is a story, of course, we will continue to keep you posted on. Reporting live this morning, Jen Shantz, 7 Action News.